One day in the forest between Edo and home, Iko saw a young woman. She was sobbing alone. What's the matter? he asked, and how softly she cried. My betrothed was attacked. I've just learned that he died. Have pity, I'm lost and can hardly stand. Iko offered his arm, for he knew the land. He walked with her for miles till the sky turned dark blue. When he asked where her house was, she grinned. This will do. Silk thread came of Iko. The woman's limbs grew. Iko counted eight total when they each split in two. Her pretty face ripped into poison-tipped fangs. Iko tried to escape, but by silk he was chained. You're mine, said the spider, licking what were once lips. With a flash, Iko died. Of his blood she took sips. When she finished her meal, human form she retook, luring unlucky travelers with only a look. The Jorogumo was a nasty little minx from Japan's Edo period, which took place between 1603 and 1868 Anno Domini. Jorogumo's direct translation is Entangling Bride, which sells her as a bit demure, but the other interpretation of her name was perhaps far more accurate. Poor Spider. Tales of the dreaded Jorogumo would feature both of her forms, a beautiful, seductive woman and a giant, poisonous, flesh-eating spider. She used the former to entice young, virile men into her grasp, then when she had them, she would transform into the latter and take them into her digestive system with reckless gluttony. The fun came in guessing how loudly they'd scream when their flesh began to dissolve. She was immortalized in old Edo folk tales like the Taihei Hayaku Monogatari and the Tono Igusa. Particularly interesting entries told of how Jorogumo would sometimes appear as a woman with a baby and plead for help from the young men who came across her path. When the unwitting gentleman would foolishly reach out to take the baby from her, it would burst into hordes of venomous newborn spiders that would unceremoniously eat the man alive. Young men are forewarned to avoid the Joran Falls of Iju, Shizuoka Prefecture, and Kashikobuchi Sendai, lest they risk falling under the gaze of the spider woman's hungry eyes. It's good advice, too, since that's where she lived last time I saw her.